I'd like to ask, uh, you know, a little bit about the military situation. There's a uh, Biden has asked for 6.4 billion of aid, uh, a new military appropriation or whatever that's apparently going to be rolled into the uh, continuing resolution or whatever they call the next bill. Um, you know, how much difference will this uh, military aid matter to the outcome of the conflict? In my view, not very much at all. Uh, it'll just intensify and deepen the profound tragedy that it has become and might become even worse. Um, of course, the Pentagon is salivating over this. They have the best of all possible worlds. They're not in it, as it were, directly. And they are going to get a monstrous plus up in a budget that is already bigger than any budget since 1945. That's how huge their budget is right now. It is so huge, it's polluting the thinking over there. All they think about is more, more, more. So in that sense, it's going to do us irreparable damage if it's not already done it. The all-volunteer force is on its rear end. Um, they can't find enough people to serve in the force. Uh, I suspect you're going to have a lot more of that and other people's militaries here shortly. I like what Finland and Sweden and Norway have done or are in the process of doing. They've reintroduced conscription, but their conscripts don't have to go overseas. Only the professional force goes uh, overseas, uh -huh. like, like uh, went to Libya, for example. Did you know Libya, Norway led the air attacks in Libya? Mm. Um, there are some people in Norway who are not very happy about that, but that's what, that's what getting closer to NATO will do for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, well, we my call, point of view, oh, go ahead, sir. So, from my point of view, the day when the war starts, the military industrial complex in the United States and in Europe opened many bottles of champagne. This was the best gift they could get. Crude, don't bury it all. <laughs> yeah. For starting an arms race, we never had since 45. We have okay, such an yeah. enlargement of military budget in all NATO countries. That is amazing. And we have a deep change of that in all NATO countries. So we know what to do. And uh, the way our, our politics answer to this war is absolutely on one side double standards, and on the other side, amid an arms race, which will bring us really much nearer to a big international war. You know, we have in the discussion now to have European nuclear arms under the leadership of France and Germany. <clears throat> we have a discussion now about new drones in Europe. We have the discussion about putting 50 to 100,000 troops to the border of Russia. We have in Germany the discussion of revitalize the job for the army to have an army for 400 or 500,000 people, which we stopped having after the Cold War period. That is the situation. And that makes the world much more insecure. And that is absolutely the wrong way. So that is the consequences of this war is a totally other world we are coming in. And this makes the situation so, so dangerous and so, so difficult.